When you're working at the terminal to save time and get more done, it pays to reduce the amount of typing that you have to do. One of the most important time-saving features in any modern shell is tab completion. In this episode, we're going to see how we can make the most of tab completion and save our fingers from some unnecessary keystrokes. So here I am in my hacks directory and suppose that I want to change to the files subdirectory. I could type cd files, but it's faster if I simply type cdf and press tab. As you can see, the shell completes the rest of the directory name, saving me some typing. Similarly, if I type cdh and press tab, then the shell completes as much of the directory name as it can, and it flashes to tell me that there are multiple matches, and it cannot continue completing the name. Now this is handy, but let's suppose that I hadn't listed the contents of the directory beforehand, so I'm going to clear my screen, and let's suppose that I want to change to one of my hacks subdirectories, but I don't know the exact name of it, so I type cdh and press tab, and the shell completes as much of the directory name as it can, but it stops there and just flashes at me. It would be nice if it would give me a list of the possible matches in the current directory that start with the word hack. Well, it turns out that we can enable this functionality by setting the shell variable autoList. So if I enter set autoList, and I now type cdh and press tab, not only does it complete as much of the word as it can, but it lists the possibilities for me. So if I wanted to go into the hack4 directory, I'd simply type 4 now and press enter. Now, if I were in my hacks directory and I wanted to go into a particular directory within the hack4 directory, I could type cdh and press tab, and now I'll type 4 and press tab again, and you can see that it adds the slash for me. And if I press tab one more time, it gives me a list of the directories that are within the hack4 directory. So I could type m, press tab, and that changes me to the temp subdirectory within the hack4 directory. Now, of course, tab completion works with any command, not just cd. So I can type cat, for example, and press tab, and it gives me a list of all the files and directories within the current directory. I could now type r and press tab, and it completes the file name readme.txt for me. So this is nice, but it looks a bit dreary, doesn't it? Well, it turns out we can spruce it up a bit with some color by setting the shell variable color. So I'll say set color, and now when I enter a command like cat and press tab, I get some color. Now when I type a command like cat and I press tab, it gives me a list of possible completions, but you can see that every time it does, it flashes at me. This is called a visual bell, and I find it rather annoying, so we can turn it off by setting the shell variable no beep. So I'll say set no beep, and now when I type cat and press tab, it gives me a list of possible completions, but my terminal doesn't send me into an epileptic seizure. The auto list variable that we set also applies to commands. So if I'm looking to reset my login environment, for example, and I forget the exact name of the command to do that, but I remember that it starts with reset, then I might type reset and press tab, and it gives me a list of all commands that begin with reset. I now see that the command is named reset.login.env, so I'll type a dot, press tab, and the command is completed for me. Now don't actually execute this command though unless you actually need to, otherwise you'll have to go back to hack0 to review how to source your hacksrc file again. Now command completion is useful, but sometimes we get too many results. So for example, if I type l and press tab, you can see that I get way too many results to fit on my screen. Well, we can avoid this by setting the list max rows variable. So I'll type set list max rows equals, and let's choose maybe 25. Now when I type l and press tab, it warns me that there are a lot of rows to be displayed and asks me if I want to proceed. And maybe in this case I'll choose not to continue and instead maybe I'll type a few more characters before I press tab again. So completion is very useful and we're really just scratching the surface here. It turns out that we can customize our tab completion for specific commands. So for example, if I type cd and I press tab, I get a list of all the files and directories in the current directory. But it doesn't make sense to cd into a file, so my tab completion for cd should really only show me directories. Well, we can make this happen with the complete command. So I'm going to type complete cd, and then I'll say c forward slash star forward slash d forward slash. What this says is when I press tab after typing the cd command, then we should generate completions based on the current word that I've entered, if any, and it can be any word, but it must be a directory. Now when I type cd and press tab, I only get directories in my list of completions. We could also set up a completion for the cat command. So if I type cat and press tab, I once again get a list of all files and directories in the current directory, but it doesn't make sense to cat a directory. If I do, I get an error, as you can see. So we'll set up a completion for the cat command to only show files by typing complete 
cat and then I'm going to say C forward slash star forward slash T forward slash. Now this says that we should generate completions based on the current word that I've entered, if any, and it can be any word, but it must be a text file or simply a file. And now when I type cat and press tab, I only see files, I see no directories. Alright, the last thing that we have to do is put all of these commands into our hacksrc file so that they're set up for us every time we log in. So I'll open up my tilde slash dot hacksrc file and I'm going to scroll down with my arrow keys. I can also press control F to go forward one screen, page down. And I just want to copy this comment block so I'm going to press shift V to go into visual line mode, move down and then press Y to yank. And now I can just move down and press P to paste it. And then finally I'll just move over here and I'll press Shift R to enter replace mode and maybe change this to hack 4 tab completion. Now to get rid of the rest of the line I'll press escape to go back to normal mode and just move over here and press D dollar sign to delete until the end of the line. Okay moving down I'll press O to open up a new line and now I can enter my commands set auto list, set color, set no beep, set list max rows equals 25, and then complete cd c star d complete cat c star t. Perfect. Now I just have to save the file by hitting escape and typing colon wq. Well that's it for this episode. I'm Jeff Schantz. Thanks for watching and don't forget to use your tab key. It may seem like a minor feature, but it will save you a whole lot of typing at the command line.